So thank you again for joining us today for Replace Repetitive Manual Business Processes with Simple Workflow Automation. My name is Nicole Schmeida. I'm the Marketing Specialist here at DocuWare. Today's session will be, well, I'm, I'm moderating the polls and the Q&A at the end. Today's session will be presented by Mark Machonsi, Regional Sales Director. Just some fun facts about us. Mark actually uh, told me that he hand builds guitars, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then just my fun fact for this month is I'm really leaning into uh, trying to get learn more different recipes and cooking techniques. I'm watching a lot of YouTube. Um, so that's kind of like my hobby uh, at the moment. Before we begin, uh, the webinar is being recorded. So later today, we'll email you the recording, the slides and handouts in your GoToWebinar um, panel. You'll see that there are a couple of case studies, a DocuWare brochure and flyer. As we go along, please submit your questions in the question box and complete the short survey at the end of the webinar. Today's agenda is the first few minutes, Mark will introduce DocuWare and what are the benefits of digital workflow? We'll go into a live demo and at the end we'll open it up for Q&A. But before I pass it to Mark, I do have a question for you all. Does this look familiar, you know, stacks of paper on your desk and manual reminders sent out and post-it notes all over the place. So my first question for you all is, and it'll pop up on your screen, is how are you carrying out your, oh, well, it looks like I hit it too quickly, but I'll just, um, I had some Fast fingers there, but I had a question. How are you carrying out your key processes now? So if you could just answer yourself or actually type in the question box, um, let us know. So maybe you have no formal procedures in place at the moment. You only have paper-based procedures. Maybe you have a mix of manual and digital procedures. You're using automated digital workflows already and you're curious, you know, what can Docker offer you? Or what else are you doing? Let us know. Um, looks like we have an attendee who's only using paper-based procedures. We have a couple mixed paper, lots of papers, mixed. Okay, so it looks like, you know, we're headed in the right direction. You do have digital processes, but maybe they're not coordinated or they're still, while they're still, while they're digital, they're still manual. You know, someone has to stay on top of it, whereas DocuWare, DocuWare is the system that will stay on top of the tasks and deadlines for you. Um, so, all right, sorry about that. Hopefully the next poll, I don't have a, some quick fingers there. Um, so, and I have a quote for you before I pass it to Mark. It's no longer the big beating the small, but the fast beating the slow. So I just wanted you to think about that as we go along. Um, all right, so Mark, I'm gonna pass it, the presenter to you. So you have your section ready to go. Great, thank you so much. Uh, again, my name's Mark Michel. Let me, let me share my screen here with y'all. Uh, my, my name's Mark Michansky up here, and today it happens to be a beautiful sunny day up in Detroit. I'm a regional sales director with DocuWare. I have been with DocuWare for about five years now, been in the content management space for uh, longer than that, uh, helping people solve all kinds of problems related to their documents out there. And our topic today is one that's near and dear to my heart. It's uh, replace competitive manual processes with simple workflow automation. Now, I think um, you, you, we all know that DocuWare can, can manage and store and allow you to retrieve documents. But where I think the real value uh, comes to bear as it relates to deploying in a business is, is when you begin to put those documents to work. Um, documents can trigger work processes um, that can help you become more efficient. So a couple of things I want you to think about before we kick off today and, and kind of show you some of the products are, you know, think about your own businesses and, and what kind of processes you carry out daily, weekly, monthly. You know, are those complex processes that involve documents and different people have to collaborate to perform those? Um, are they things that are triggered based on timers that yeah, you typically have to track via spreadsheets or remember to do on your calendar. Um, do you have teams working at home or people inconsistently performing tasks, perhaps? And oftentimes, we perform these tasks based on tribal knowledge that is handed down 
uh, which means that uh, people have there's a lot of variance in how things happen. Um, if a deadline's missed, how do you resolve that? So think about your business processes after we after you review what we have to share with you today, and I think you'll find all kinds as you start thinking about in the context of this slide of places where there may be opportunities for um, increasing uh, your performance as a business. So um, here's a key point. Uh, intelligence business technology survey from 2020 and it's really about um, we polled I think it was uh, 320 or so people on on their businesses and, and where those that have deployed automation have found benefits and I think you can read this here but the top categories are increasing efficiency of the organization at 57 percent saving time for your business and employees, uh, increasing the accuracy of the work that you do. So if, if any of these look like the type of things that you might like to improve in your business, we would encourage you to think about how workflow on top of a content management system might be able to help you. We're just kind of looking at that from a little different angle. And this is, about, I, I kind of like this one, it's about where workers benefit, it's a Zapier, survey and um, uh, some of the interesting things that caught my eye here were that nine out of ten uh, surveyed workers indicated that workflow improved their lives in their workplace these are the people that are doing the work 88 percent of them believe that it made them more competitive uh, than larger competitors two out of three of them believe that uh, it was something that would help them be more productive in their businesses. So people are believing in this. They're 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 um, hey, realizing true benefits. Yes, I I, I apologize. I did not forward oh, my slide there. Problem. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> From the right side, how automation helps workers. I, I kind of like the middle one there, which is that it allows companies to pivot, to be more flexible, to be more nimble. So this is really workers saying that they in fact found benefits in using the platform as well. So what we're going to cover today is, is living in DocuWare as a cloud-based platform that can be deployed um, and accessed via either your mobile device, um, your tablets, uh, Android or Apple devices that you see there on the left. But uh, I think you'll see also that we have an incredibly easy to use, efficient digital desktop that allows you to from any browser in the world, access content, to capture documents from email, from scanners, from uh, your desktop and pre-sort those documents, um, to instantly find stuff based on how you tag them or words in the document. Um, you can organize your tasks and kind of have a dashboard of what your business is doing. Um, you can deliver documents and tasks and instructions so that um, people are given them similar instructions and options to perform work on the same type of document. You can access those by folders. Um, you can annotate documents, mark them up, uh, make notations that others in your business can see. So we're not gonna focus heavily on the user interface today. We're gonna talk more about workflow than that, but um, I would encourage you as follow-up to this to reach out to your, your, your sales representative and talk more about the DocuWare platform. So uh, as I said earlier, you can deploy either on the uh, Apple and Android devices from your desktop. So while you're on the shop floor or out in the field, as, as a salesperson like myself, I can approve um, I can approve records. I can review things. I can search for things. They're at my fingertips. Or uh, for a richer experience, I can deploy the, um, the cloud-based uh, browser-based solution, the one or multiple monitors. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk a little bit about how workflows are created in DocuWare and the flexibility you have to work with those. We're gonna talk a little bit about how work is delivered to people and then you can monitor that work and uh, once those the, the, uh, workflow is triggered. And I'm gonna share with you a free tool that I think you'll find useful. We call it our process planner that allows you, will allow you to build out and, and, and document the process you're, you're experiencing today so that you can share it with your partners um, your sales representative, and they can help you um, collaborate on how DocuWare could be configured to meet your particular needs. So, uh, Nicole, did you want to just check in, see if there's any questions so far? Sure, thank you. Um, 
No questions yet, but definitely feel free to type them as we go along. We'll get to them at the end of the session. Super. So why don't we just jump in here and I'll share with you um, some insight into the DocuWare application. So let's talk about workflow. So workflow means the routing of documents with appropriate decisions to the right people at the right time. And I'm going to launch DocuWare's um, workflow designer here, which is a tool that allows you to build workflows graphically without having a developer skill set to do, needing a, a developer skill set to do so. You see, I've got a bunch of different workflows here, you know, uh, four or five of them for different uh, human resources applications. Uh, today, we're going to just mock, I've mocked up a kind of simple use case for the review of a candidate's resume. It looks like I've got a bunch of versions of that out there. So as your business change, as you can see here, uh, we have different versions of that workflow and you can evolve and change those workflows to meet your new and changing business world, i.e. that pivoting that we talked about earlier. So as documents are stored or as they reach a, a given um, date or they re reach a, uh, a they, they reach a criteria that you designate within the workflow. In this particular case, this workflow starts at the top anytime a document is a new document that is filed of the type resume. And I built this particular workflow for only processing salespeople resumes. So let me describe the desktop here. There is um, on the left, there's a bunch of different activities and tasks that you can drag and drop onto your desktop and build a flow of documents, i.e. starting when a new resume is stored. Um, in this particular workflow, the flow goes that we assign it to the HR director. Um, we uh, then deliver that workflow and document to the human resources director. And within this little bubble here that we've crafted based on building an activity there, we can build the rules and instructions into the guidance we're going to give to the human resources director. Uh, we are going to give him the option to invite this person for an interview or reject this individual. Um, and when he interfaces with the system, we're going to give him instructions and we're going to allow him to sign an interview date. By the way, behind any workflow process to keep it moving, we have we give you the option to um, apply um, Reminders, escalation. So if I want to change this best practice to within one day, we need to be responding to an individual's resume or let's say uh, one one hour in this day and age, that seems more realistic. We can change that workflow. Um, if he rejects that individual, we'll be sending the, the applicant a rejection email. If we accept him, we're going to be sending him an invite to interview. And then the sales manager is, is going to have the option to either hire this individual or reject them with all the controls that I talked about earlier, um, escalations and instructions and things just flow through the system. Finally, at the very end, we're going to kick off an offer email to the individual and we're going to alert the IT organization that this individual is coming and we want to provision everything they need to be successful in their job. And then the workflow ends. Now, adding a new task to this desktop is very simple. Uh, if I wanted to send a second email to somebody else uh, after this first rejection email, that might not be realistic, but I could build a, drag this on the desktop and let's say email uh, the, I don't know, sales manager. And we could craft an email. We could attach the document if you wanted to here within this environment. And we could simply tell the document to flow to the next email and then to the end roll. So simple, easy, nimble, powerful, without having to code stuff. Um, the things that we can do within a workflow include assigning to one or many people, splitting on a condition, let's say, I don't know, you get an invoice and over $5,000, the CFO has to respond. We can send emails to one or many people. We can integrate the systems through web services. I can delay things. Let's say I just wanna sit on this resume for 24 hours while I'm evaluating another candidate, or I can wait for something else to happen. Maybe we're waiting for some secondary documentation. So I'm not going to do a deep dive here. The whole point is 
anybody can build and configure a workflow with some simple business skills here. And this is a powerful tool to allow you to do it without having to be a coder. So let's just kill this workflow and I'm not gonna save my changes. Um, and I'm gonna close the workflow designer. Oh, hit the wrong button there, give me a second. And we're gonna open up our DocuWare desktop. Uh, once again, a simple, clean interface. Documents will be viewed on the right here. DocuWare natively can view hundreds of different file formats without you having to have the business application there. On the left, you'll be able to collect documents by scanning or monitoring emails or importing from your desktop. I guess at the core of the system is the ability to search for documents. Um, I've built a simple digital human resources cabinet that allows you to file um, candidate and employee records based on their last name, first name, personnel number, their status, their start date, the document type. Let's just do a quick search and I'll, I'll grab somebody's documents here. I'm gonna look for uh, Mr. Sanders documents and we'll see that we can see that we've got several different document types for Mr. Sanders and there's a subject associated with those and viewing a document allows you, by double clicking, allows you to see that document on the right hand side here very quickly and easily. But the point of this is, is um, documents trigger workflows. And I'm gonna start off our workflow discussion and participate and show you the workflow we built here by starting off in Outlook. And let me uh, clear this category here. Um, so imagine that somebody in the organization got a resume. In this case, let's assume it came into the human resources director's uh, email. Now we could monitor you know, Indeed, emails that come from Indeed, other mailboxes, but in this case, just so you see something happening, I'm gonna say, let's store this document in DocuWare as a new candidate's resume. We're gonna submit it to human resources. Remember, we're gonna send this to the human resources director's DocuWare queue. So in this case, I'm going to fill out my form that describes this document. I'm gonna say that I want to, this individual's applying for sales. His last name is Mr. Strom. First name is Peter. We've designated already because of the store dialog that we created that we want to file this as a resume. We pulled Mr. Strom's email address. We're gonna store both the attachment that was in that email and the, the, the body of the email. We're gonna store the email first, or I can store just the email, just the body or the other order. When I file that document and click on store, you get an indicator something's happened. Uh, we'll see here that that was tagged with a category that shows you that it was filed in the DocuWare system. You'll notice this little bubble here, but that document has been now filed in the DocuWare system. And we'll give that a second for the workflow to wake up here. Notice a couple of things, something changed on our, our desktop. Since we've got, a, uh, we're sitting as the active human resources manager, Simon Stone, Simon was, first of all, an ability to kind of see everything that's flowing through his business at one time. And we've created a set of, let's call it a dashboard list of all the new applications that have been received, all the open hire requisitions, all the onboarding tasks that are going on, all the documents somebody might have requested a deletion of. So there's this idea of visibility based on your role and what's going on in the business. Um, and when we click on that link, we'll see that this new application was from Peter Strom. Um, now, when that document was filed, the system woke up and said, aha, a new resume, I've got a workflow to run. And that first step of the workflow that you saw created was that um, the human resources director would be presented with this task where they have the option of inviting this individual for an interview. And here's our instructions um, on what we can do. Here's the interview date we can suggest. We might reject this individual and type in a reason or select from a set of reasons or again, we might have any number of options here to perform in that workflow. Um, that's all at your discretion. This is just an example. We do uh, workflows for accounts payable, for human resources, for employee onboarding, for contracts management. Um, our, our HR director can, in fact, make his own notes um, on this document and say, looks like a good candidate. We've got this idea of annotations that allow you to mark up 
documents and highlight things. This is important because in a workflow, you want people to know what you're thinking about the core document that you're sending on them to, to, to work on. And by the way, this document consists, as I said earlier, of the email and the attachment. So let's send that off to the next step. The next step was triggering an alert to somebody else in the organization. In this case, it was the sales manager. His name is Brian Ford, and uh, we're going to change directions here. I'm going to open Brian's email, and when I refresh that, we should shortly see that Brian now has a task delivered to him by DocuWare via email because he doesn't work in DocuWare every day, all day. He needs alerts so that as he's out in the field, he can review a candidate's resume. And he's giving instructions here to say, okay, when you want to, to fulfill, to, to review this, click on this link here, and you'll be drawn into DocuWare from your mobile phone, from your desktop. You can see Simon's notes here. You'll have the option to reject them just like everybody else. Uh, I could have configured it, so I gave it a rejection of reason. Um, I could recommend a start date. Let's say we want them to start today. Note here also, there's a new annotation here where the, the previous step was recorded as a stamp saying that Mr. Stone invited him to, for an interview on this date. Maybe the in interview already happened and um, uh, now Mr. Ford is making a decision on whether or not he wants to hire this guy. So he never had to really open DocuWare to find that workflow. So he's a busy guy. The next step in our workflow was, uh, uh, oh, by the way, let's take a peek back here at our candidates email box. And you'll note here that uh, I'm gonna open Mr. Stone's email address, email, but in fact, we get visibility through the, the magic of Outlook into uh, Mr. Strom's email here. And we'll refresh that. And we'll see that in fact, uh, there's been some correspondence that's taken place in Mr. Strom's email. DocuWare first sent him the invite to um, interview with the company here with detailed information about what the interview was going to be all about. And then finally, when we decided to hire him, we sent him an, a welcome to the company email. We also sent him a link to DocuWare's uh, a form that was created in DocuWare. I'm not going to go into this form concept, but the idea here is, is if you're thinking about human resources, you could click on this onboarding form. We could collect all of Mr. Strom's important information, populate his entire onboarding packet, capture his signature, apply that to anyone, anywhere from one to 30 forms, as many as you like, and create his onboarding package. So we just kind of touched the front end of this workflow. We captured a document. It's working through that workflow. Meanwhile, back at the administrator's, IT administrator's desk, they've got an alert with a deadline saying, in fact, Mr. Strom starts today. You should have this done already. He needs a laptop. He needs a phone. He needs an email address. And he, need access, he needs access to CRM. So one storage of a document triggers a lot, a lot of actions out there. I really just wanted to give you a feel for the design of workflow, how it flows through a process and people are informed of work they could do, the options that they have and the flexibility that they have. The last thing that I wanna to touch on here is um, the tool that I alluded to earlier on and that was DocuWare's Process Planner. Process Planner is a tool that's really provided as a convenience to you to help you design um, or, or describe your business processes. And I use it when I propose solutions to customers. I document everything that I've heard, share that back to them, and we can collaborate on these documents. So all you need to do is uh, apply for at, at processplanner.docuware.com and we'll ask you for an email address and password. You'll get a confirming email and you can get started. So I'm gonna log in quickly here and show you uh, how easy this is to use. Please. So the designer is super intuitive once again. If I wanted to document the workflow that we had created in the DocuWare system, 
um, I can tell the system. First of all, from the user interface perspective, we've got um, all kinds of options. I'm going to create a new diagram. I've got zoom in, I've got zoom out. Uh, by the way, I can share this with anybody I like in the world and collaborate on this, whether it's my partner or somebody else um, in a sim that, that might have input on my business processes and, and simultaneously work on this workflow. But the process is as follows. We've got a start and an end, just like in DocuWare workflow. Uh, we then have the ability to create new uh, flows. And I'm going to start, and then I want to document that our next step is going to be receive resume. Next step, uh, I apologize for my spelling errors here. Uh, let's add another step here. I'll call this store resume in. I can even add color commentary to that if I wanted to, and I could say email uh, scanned desktop. To be even clearer, if I wanted to add a, a new section, we'll label this section, I'll call it uh, the intake process. Um, the next section that I would like to add would be, I'm going to call it the HR, HR that director review. And we'll add a, the HR director's step here. Let's, let's color that, um, I don't know, let's call it green. And we're going to tell the system that, in fact, everything that's green is a human step, okay? So somebody has to interact with this, this system from a workflow perspective. And we're going to call this workflow HR Director Evaluates Document. Now, if everything goes well and they want to accept this individual, we'll uh, send candidate interview request email that's not a human step so we'll change it to we'll change that to to blue here so the point is here that things can simply flow and if i want to kick off this process here um, things will flow through the system if i reject this individual i'll add a second category called reject now i don't want to teach you i don't want to build this whole thing out so why don't we just flow back here and I'll show you what the, the basic HR candidate review looks like. So I started this, we started the workflow. The, base, the major human steps are an HR director evaluates, a department manager interviews. They can each either invite for an interview or offer the position. Either of them can reject. There's various communication steps that take place. I can add notes. Folks, great tool to help you clarify your thoughts. I would encourage you to go uh, log in to the system and begin playing with it. So that's really all I had to share with you today as it relates to a demonstration. A um, few topics that I wanted to bring up here for you. Uh, the first is that for many of these solutions, uh, you really can start with a workflow that can be up and running in as few as three days. So we do have a employee records, let's call it a human resources workflow that can be is, is primarily built, it's 80% it's of the way there. We simply um, can further configure the system to meet your, your more explicit business requirements. We have similar things for invoice processing or simplified, simplified and centralized archiving of documents or even digital signatures, a, a final one that we, we have available to you. So you could, um, you could quickly and easily deploy these pre-configured workflows and tweak them for, to meet your particular needs. Um, these solutions that DocuWare offers today are available both on-premise. Uh, the workflow platform can support either on-premise environments or they can be deployed in the cloud. And Nicole, I think that's all I had for you today. All right, great. Yep, I just have a... Um, uh second poll question so i am going to share that now all right so we do have another question hopefully i can 
watch it good this don't, time. Don't quote no. too fast. Yeah, don't no, quote too fast. All right, so here's the question. Which workflow manager features um, would you like more, you know, to learn more about? The design interface, tracking processes at any time, setting clear task guidelines, escalation rules, um, any other thoughts, feel free to type in the question box. So what you saw today was introductory through the lens of an HR example, but you know, we want to continue the conversation. You know, what processes can you use this stack your workflow tool for and automate? You know, you could start in one department and expand as you see fit. So um, just get a few more votes in here and then I'll share the results. All right, looks like we got some more. I'm just gonna close it out and share it. So you can see that, you know, people want to like get more information on the interface, how that works, tracking process at any time. So especially for managers, you want to know, well, where is what step in the workflow process is this, you know, currently at? Um, you can get visibility into that. And, you know, of course, you know, setting guidelines and escalation tools. So for those of you who currently are using digital, some digital processes, this tool takes it to the next level um, and helps you manage that uh, from the solution. So I'm going to finish the poll here. Just have a couple more slides before we open up for Q&A. So as you can see on the screen here, you just here's a snapshot of our um, current security certifications and badges we've earned from user review sites such as G2 Crowd, Captera, Gardner Peer Insights. So you can um, go there and read real user success stories and I'll include a link in the follow-up email as well. Here is an overview of the 15,000 companies across 100 countries that currently use DocuWare. Um, so it's across all different industries, all size um, organizations, and you know various use cases. In your handouts, we have a couple case studies, but I wanted to highlight this case study um, here from GSC Logistics. Um, this is Justin. He's a compliance manager. So before that, they were um, doing, uh, you know, they were using paper, but then they moved to DocuWare. And now that the processes to meet compliance is done automatically. You know, when they were using paper, there was a mistake that, you know, was kind of permanent, but now Docker has eliminated that problem. Just want to let you know our next webinar and our final webinar for 2021 will be held on December 14th. It'll be on our Docker for invoice processing solution. So that's our pre-configured AP automation solution. You'll receive an email at the beginning of December for that, or definitely head to docker.com or our LinkedIn page uh, to get the um, registration links for that. So what's, you know, we're, we're at the end of the webinar. What's your next move? Um, we hope you go forward, take the next step, continue the conversation with, you know, your Docker partner so that you can save time and money, increase efficiency. We don't want you to keep doing the same things. We know that like it, if you might be comfortable doing the same thing, but you know that efficiency over time is just gonna, you know, be detrimental in the long run. So, you know, here's how you can reach out. You know, contact your authorized Docker partner um, if you receive the invitation from them. Request a personalized demo at docker.com/demo or email us anytime at contact.us at docker.com. So again, for those. Um, who maybe need to jump off. I am emailing you guys later today with the recording and the slides and all the handouts. So um, let's jump into the questions. Let's see. So Mark, um, question is, I think when you were storing the um, resume in Outlook, could you have those fields populate automatically? For example, the application, the application came with the standard form as an attachment. Sure. Yeah, the, the answer is yes. So 
Uh, DocuWare has a tool, a couple of tools that can help you with that. First is our intelligent indexing. And we've got a, a tool called document processing. One or the other might be appropriate, but um, effectively, if those documents are structured and are predictable, i.e., if all your, if many of your resumes are coming from Indeed in a, in a predefined manner, we can extract that data out of the attachments or even out of the email body to facilitate the automated filing of those documents. We have to spend a little more time looking at the, the documents you're receiving to confirm that we could or couldn't automate those, but the tools are there to accomplish that. Great, next question. Is this something you can use to keep track of clients or is this just for employees? Uh, so we keep track of any type of record that you want to store. So if we're storing documents that reference them, uh, clients, we can absolutely store those in the system, record those and monitor business processes triggered by client records, if you will. So there's um, certainly you could use it for documents related to clients, documents related to employees, uh, or other processes in your business, standard operating procedures, contracts, invoice processing. So the answer is yes. We, we oftentimes uh, configure and, and automate multiple business processes. Oh, okay, yeah, this, ex this the example you did was just through the HR lens, but can it apply to any? Absolutely, so workflows are highly, pers it can be personalized and built for any work process that you might envision. Gotcha, next question is, um, does Docker offer OCR data extraction document classification? I think that might, maybe you've kind of touched on that in the previous question. Yeah, absolutely, so, um, Again, the, the intelligent indexing tools uh, or the document processing tool can in fact extract data from documents and classify those documents uh, within the document system. Yes, um, we do have um, previous webinars showing um, document archiving and, and you know automating that indexing, but um, I can include in the follow-up email a link to our previous on-demand webinars as well. But definitely um, that's doable through intelligent indexing. Um, next question is good. How powerful is the permission control? Like if you want to customize who can see and access what? Uh, so we allow you to configure users and, and associated groups and with their roles. And um, you can have as, uh, very granular roles within the organization or individual rights that can lock down what you can and can't see all the way to the document level. Now that can also align with your active directory or single and as well as single sign-on to ease that process of managing all those roles and rights. So for example, a human resources director can see pretty much everything in a human resources cabinet while a human resource staff individual might only be able to see some subset of that. And of course, an employee might only be able to see a subset of their documents, all based on the roles that they've been given for that human resource cabinet. Similar things can be done for any other business digital cabinet that you might envision you might want to employ. Um, just a follow-up question. I know we're at the time now, so I'll take, I'll, we'll do two more questions. After extracting the data, how does it output the, the data? Is it an XML or a CSV file? Um, that can be configured. DocuWare has a tool called um, DocuWare Export, and in fact, it can spit out on a scheduled basis or on a interactive basis uh, CSV data in a prescribed fashion, so you can designate your column headers and the orders that you like to a given location, and um, it's, it's very flexible. Uh, that's how we oftentimes integrate with various ERPs. So. Uh, QuickBooks has one format that they prefer, while Sage has another and on down the line. And that can all be configured to meet your particular needs. Okay, great. Um, yes, yeah, someone asked, how do we get the process planner tool? You can go to processplanner.docker.com and I'll include it in the follow-up email as well. Um, last question is, could you expand on the web services integration? We would be interested in writing data back to our ERP sure. after the process is completed. Sure. Well, I, I'm certainly not a developer here, but um, DocuWare does have the ability to register and um, interact with other business systems via web service calls. Right now, we have a web service written for DocuSign and, and uh, 
and, and, um, and another signing tool available to you. Many of our customers and partners have written web services calls as well that can facilitate uh, workflow interaction, pushing data into other business systems. So um, I, I don't, I'm not you know, a programmer, but absolutely we have the ability to, to launch and your personalized, customized web service calls, as well as the ones that I mentioned is available you know, commercially. All right, yeah, great. So it looks like we're at, you know, the time that we allotted for today. So thank you everyone for joining us. Thanks for your patience in the beginning as we, you know, got situated there, appreciate that. Um, thank you, Mark, for showing us that first look into Docker workflow. And, you know, look out for an email later today, but let's continue the conversation. Reach out to your Docker partner, email us any thoughts or questions you might have, and we'll point you in the right direction. Um, so, all right, with that, I hope everyone has a great rest of their day and look out for an invitation to next month's um, AP webinar on December 14th. All right, thank you everyone.